I'm Amanda, and I'm one of the pastors at Redeemer Lutheran Church in Columbia, South Carolina. And welcome to Bedtime Bible Stories. I'm really glad that you're here. If you have one of the Spark Story Bibles, go grab it so that you can follow along with our story today. Today we're going to read a story called The Promise of the Holy Spirit, and it's on page 450. Jesus loved his disciples, and he knew he was going to heaven soon and wanted to make sure that they weren't afraid. Jesus and his friends sat down on the soft grass. Jesus said, It's important to remember all I've taught you. Love God. Love other people. Help each other. Remember, God is most important. God will always love you. Jesus looked at each of his friends' faces. He cared so much for each of them. I promise I'll always love you and everyone who comes after you. I won't be here much longer, but don't worry. God's Holy Spirit will be with you always. The Holy Spirit will help you and God's children forever. The disciples trusted Jesus and the promises he made. I like this story because it tells us about what it means to follow Jesus. It means that we're supposed to love God and that we're supposed to love other people too. And part of it is that when we love other people, that's how we show love to God sometimes as well. So when we're kind and when we help others and when we see people that are hungry or thirsty and give them food or drink or if they need clothes or if they need shelter or if they need a friend, all of those are ways that we love other people and that we love God as well. And we love God when we pray and when we sing and when we dance and when we live life in a kind and generous way. And I hope that you'll remember that God always loves you. Let's pray together. Dear God, thanks for loving all of us, every single person in the entire world forever and ever. Help us remember to love other people too and to tell them that you love them as well. And all God's children said, Amen. I'm so glad that you joined us for Bedtime Bible Stories today. And I hope that you always, always, always remember that you are a loved child of God. Thank you.